once again, we are on the road to Dallas, Texas, this time for the Wrecking Ball Metal Madness Festival. Um, I mean, it's one venue. It's, I think, 19 bands over two days. And uh, a whole lot of death metal, a whole lot of heaviness, and a whole lot of Texas bands, some of which I've never seen. So I'm very excited. To, I've never seen Tribal Gaze or Fugitive. I'm very excited to see Fugitive. But also we get to see Dying Fetus and Frozen Soul and, uh, and uh, Creeping Death and Skinless is there and, and Eternal Champion, which is, that's, that's an odd... I mean, they're from Texas, but uh, it's got a whole bunch of really heavy and death metal bands and, and Eternal Champion. That's all right. Uh, it's going to be fun. And, uh, of course, as you can see, my lovely wife is here because she's filming me right now. And uh, I'm just happy that she's coming along with me. But she's going to love it. As everybody knows, my wife uh, found a love for death metal. So she's probably very much going to enjoy herself. Hopefully I'll get some good footage of that for this movie. I can't wait to embarrass myself <laughs> again. For, for this rockumentary. So yeah, we're on the road to Dallas. Um, you know, we'll get there, check into our hotel, and then head over to the venue. Maybe we'll get there in time for uh, the first band, which is uh, Soledad. If we do, then that's cool. But, uh, you know, either way, I'm looking forward to seeing a whole lot of fucking bands. And I'm going to try to capture as much footage as I can for all of you out there. So hopefully you enjoy it. And, yeah, see you in Dallas. All right. So we're in Dallas. We're at the hotel. And... We're just getting our shit together before we head over to the show. The doors opened at three, which is like 15 minutes ago, and uh, first band goes on at four. So maybe we'll get there in time to catch some of them. Uh, other than that, I'm just looking forward to day one of Wrecking Ball Metal Madness.
lighting is good here or not or if you can even hear me so we're about halfway through day one of wrecking ball metal madness we saw solidad open the show and I, I quite liked them they were pretty good and then chamber chamber were okay same with gates to hell uh both were i don't know they, they didn't do a lot for me but they you know they put on good shows um, and then uh, right now we had Dying Wish, which was another band that I was interested in seeing live because I wasn't, I was kind of on the fence about them. But they put on a really fucking good show. And uh, the, the interesting thing was that they had these bass drops that kept going off during their their songs. And I kept watching the drummer like, how was he triggering that? What did, I spent the whole, it's like everyone else is like moshing and, and and hardcore dancing and having a great time and I'm trying to figure out where the fucking drum trigger is. So, uh, anyway, uh, we got a few bands left. Up next, Creeping Death. We're Creeping Death from right motherfucking here. Let's have a good night tonight. Power Stone
Thanks, Denny's. Uh, all right, so we're, we're heading back over to our hotel. That's my wife. We have to cross the street. We have to cross the street. I think she's worried that there's gonna be a problem crossing the street. There's, there's no cars. We just, we go. So the second half of the show, Creeping Death was my favorite band of the night. Uh, it could be that they were playing to a, a hometown crowd and that made it more energetic and awesome. But either way, it was fucking great. And then, um, who was that? Arcacia Strain was uh, better than I expected. For what they do, they were very good. Uh, I was impressed. Not, not a fan, but I was impressed. Uh, Despised Icon had their moments. Overall, it wasn't really for me, but you know, they, they, you know, they were all right. And of course, Dying Fetus were fucking incredible. For three dudes, there's three dudes. What's up? Also, someone recognized old head. Oh, so yeah, somebody recognized me. Finally, <laughs> shit. Anyway, they they recognized me as old head. So there you go. I'm finally something. But anyway, uh, it, it, it's a testament to Dying Fetus being a band that like, they don't like move around or do crazy shit on stage, but the crowd was still fucking crazy. And that's a testament. That shows that you have fucking killer shit right there. Okay, that's it. We're going back to the hotel. Good night, everybody. All right, so we're about to head out for day two of Wrecking Ball Metal Madness. And I'm very excited about this one. There's more bands today. There's 11 bands total, and only three of them are not from Texas. And I've only seen one of them. I've only seen Frozen Soul, who I'm very excited to see again. But this day is just fucking loaded with bands that I'm excited to see. Fucking Devourment, legendary Texas death metal band, but also Fugitive. Very excited to see Fugitive and Tribal Gaze, plus others. Um, you'll see them. Um, as, you, as you could see in the footage, we were not down in the crowd. We quickly figured out there was this great little spot in the VIP where uh, you could just sit, nobody was in your way, and you had a great view of everything. So uh, we ended up upgrading. It was just, what was it, $30? $30 each to upgrade where you literally have a bathroom right there and you go straight into the upstairs room where there's the merch and a bar. Like everything's right there. Absolutely worth the upgrade. So that's why you're seeing the footage from up there. So hopefully you guys dig that. But we're going to be up there again for day two of Wrecking Ball Metal Madness. See you there.
Here's my update. So, so far today, it's kind of an early update, but shit's about to get real. So, so far we had Stabbing from Houston, killer death metal band. Probably my wife's favorite band so far of this thing. You know my wife's into a band when she immediately goes and buys all of their merch. So, uh, and uh, after them was Flesh Rot, 
who were also really fucking good death metal band. And then uh, Ends of Sanity just finished up and they're a hardcore band. They're not really my cup of tea, but they were good for what they did. Um, there are no bad bands in this whole fucking thing. Let's just get that clear. Uh, anyway, so I'm doing this update early because shit's about to get real. Because we got Tribal Gaze, followed by Judiciary, followed by Fugitive. Shit's about to fucking blow up here. So I, in case I forget to do a little update, there you go. I'm sitting down in this nice little area where they have little chairs back behind everything. This is a cool place. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the, the rockumentary of next Tribal Gaze. Hell oh, yeah. Yo, we're Tribal Gaze from right down the street in Dallas, Texas. This set is dedicated to Chris Moore.
Hey, this whole set goes out to 200 stab wounds, one of my favorite bands. Give it up for 200! Old school set tonight here from Skinless. This okay, one's called down. Confines of Human Flesh. Grab your girl, grab your pole. Let's take a little trip to the old bone hole. Roll on Before skinless, we're fucking done. We're gonna keep it moving though. This one's called Tug of War. Rivers of Gore! Rivers of Gore! <laughs> Yo, thank you so fucking much for being a part of this record ball. This is amazing.
Thank you to all the fucking bands that played, to the staff, to the venue, to Live Nation, to everybody, all the sponsors, Paps, everybody. Thank you so fucking much. You fucking rule. This is for you. Normally I give a big fucking speech, but you know what? This shit, it's all for you. Thank you for being a part of this shit. Move forward. Move forward! Move forward! Oh, no. 
you for taking care of each other. Man, this right here, this is the third live Wrecking Ball Metal Madness we've done. Every single one has been so fucking insane. It's just full of friends and family. This is fucking amazing. Thank you so fucking much. Give yourselves a round of a fucking applause. Come on, come on, come on. But from this point on, the rest of this set goes out to the ones we lost. I've said it before, and I'll say it until the end of time. Mental health, it's not a fucking joke. Take care of each other, please. Please take care of each other. Call your friends and family. For Corey, for Wade, for Olin, for fucking Riley. This is for them. We are cold. We are relentless. We are masterless. Move this fucking pit. Oh, oh, oh. 
minutes early for the show. And did I get recognized again? He got recognized again. But I also got recognized for somebody else. Who the fuck do they think Hold I on. was? Shout out to Adrian. He was the guy that we just met, Adrian. Adrian. Some yeah. some guy from Mike Leach. Leech? Mike Leach. Who Mike Leach? the fuck is Mike? Apparently, I look like him. He's a bassist. Anyway, but I also look like old head, and Adrian was was uh, was stopped me. So I got recognized two times in two days. That pretty much means I'm just gonna retire from my <laughs> regular job, and this old head is gonna be the thing that pays me, right? No, not at all. Anyway, look look at all. I, we have we have so many shirts. Um, we're all about supporting the bands. So uh, night two of Wrecking Ball Metal Madness is over, and it was fucking great. Literally every band except for Eternal Champion was great. Eternal Champion may have been good with some other show. I, gar I I'm not even fucking lying. I saw people yawning during Eternal Champion. One of those people was me. But they weren't bad. They just... It just wasn't the vibe. Not at all. Anyway, um... I'm, I'm a, my wife's favorite was Stabbing. Yes. She loves... Uh, Tribal Gaze was easily my favorite. Followed by... Fuck, who the fuck else played? I've had some beers. Fugitive played... Who played before Fugitive? 200 stab wounds. Fuck! So, my favorite was Tribal Gaze. Followed very closely by 200 stab wounds. Holy shit. Fugitive were also great. Stabbing were also great. You know... There, but there were so many fucking great bands tonight. We're walking back to the car. It, this night, like yesterday was fun. This one was fucking insane. Hopefully you all enjoyed the footage. I tried to get all the best shit that I could. And it was great that I got to be a part of the show. I got to uh, throw out some balls yep. at the beginning of the Frozen Soul set. Frozen Soul were also amazing. But that's not a surprise. They're fucking great. Anyway, we're, we're getting into the car. This is where the Dallas Mavericks do sports things. Go sports! All right, uh, we're going home. No, we're not going home. We're no, going to fucking going Denny's. To Denny's. Keep on, guys. All right.